I love using stencils to personalize and accent my pieces. Follow along with me as I show you step-by-step -step how to create a beautiful painted ombre stencil. We're going to start off with a little bit of color blending and I'm going to make a custom gray. So I'm going to be using my little lamb and I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of casement because I want to get a nice variation of grays and whites on this beautiful pink backdrop. And just to show you how easy the fusion mixes together, it just blends so beautifully. So I love doing my color blending on these little palettes. Very, very handy. This is just basically like a wax paper, really smooth. So they have a nice sort of mid-tone gray. And we're gonna use that on the stencil. So let me set this aside and grab my stencil. I'm using a mandala stencil, and this is from Mutteritaville Studios. It's a really beautiful 10 mil mylar thickness, which means it's quite heavy. It's gonna stay in place, which is really beautiful. And then I'm gonna use my Stellmeister series brush, the 30, 3600-20. This can actually also be used as a wax brush, but today I'm gonna use it as a stencil brush. It's just a natural bristle fiber. I'm gonna start off on the inside by using a little bit of the little lamb. And the key to stenciling is less is more. So you don't wanna to have too much paint on your brush. So I'm just gonna wipe away the excess, usually dab away the excess. And there's a couple of ways that you can stencil. You can dab or you can swirl. So I'm going to swirl. And we're starting off with the little lamb gray in the middle. I feel it's a really pretty contrast to the pink, super soft pink blush. And again, less is more in your brush. You're essentially using a dry brush, almost kind of getting a shadow effect. The less paint you have on your brush, the more crisp lines you will get. And that's our goal when we're stenciling. We don't wanna have that bleed through happening. There we go. Now I'm gonna grab my color that we blended before the sort of medium gray. I'm using the same brush, totally fine, because we are color blending. And when you color blend, you can use the same brush because we're getting a variation of the color. And I'm just sort of going around the two thirds of the outside here with that medium tone gray. There we go. And towards the outside, I'm gonna go really light. So I'm grabbing my lightest color in the casement and I'm gonna try swirling that. Preventing bleed through is really easy. The number one tip is less paint on your brush and essentially working with a dry brush. I don't like to use any sort of adhesive sprays to hold down my stencil. I don't use any tape. I just find if you use less paint, it is the best way to get a really beautiful crisp finish. I tend to do a lot of demos and I bring people on stage that have never ever done this before and they're always so surprised at how beautiful their stencil turns out. And there we have it. So we've done our stencil and now to reveal it, I'm just gonna lift it straight up and off. There we go. Put the stencil to the side. And there we have our beautiful color blended ombre effect of our little lamb in the middle and our casement on the outside and a color blend of the rest in between. So this is just a simple how-to, but you can virtually grab any stencil that you like, throw a great saying on some pillows, life is beautiful, have fun with it, grab your kids, do a fun weekend project, enjoy.